Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader on the brand new Motorola Moto G, third generation 2015 model. Um, this tutorial will also work for all other Motorola devices as well, not just the Moto G. So, um, before I get into the video, I'm going to just explain that unlocking your bootloader will void your warranty and also it's going to wipe your phone clean. So if you've got any important pictures or videos or files, make sure you back them up onto your PC before you do this. So once you've backed everything up and you've decided that you really want to go ahead and unlock the bootloader, um, what you first of all need to do is you need to go into your settings on your phone and then go to about phone and where it says build number just keep tapping on it till it says you are now a developer then hit the back button and now it should have unlocked the developer options so just go ahead and tap on developer options and where it says OEM unlocking allow the bootloader to be unlocked Make sure that toggle switch is turned on and make sure up here at the top where it says on, make sure it's turned on also. Okay, the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to head on over to the Motorola website. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. So just head on over there. And as you can see here, it says unlock your bootloader. So, um... You're going to go to step one, which is to install the Android SDK. So just select download here. And this is the Android Studio. And it contains the Android SDK tools and a bunch of other drivers and stuff. Um, so just go ahead and hit the download option here for Windows and it'll download. It is a big file. It's about, it's almost a gig. So um, it's going to take a while to download depending on your internet connection speed. So um, once you download it, this is how it's going to look. Just go ahead and click on it. And it's going to install everything, all the files, what you need um, to unlock the bootloader. So once everything's finished installing and everything... It's going to install to your C drive. So just head back over to the Motorola website again. And you're going to go to step two, which is install the latest Motorola USB drivers onto your desktop. So go ahead and download the Motorola USB drivers. It is a small file. It's about two megabytes, I think, if I can remember. Um, but it doesn't take long to download takes about two seconds and then it takes another two seconds to install everything so once you've got both of these installed what you can do then is go to your C drive and go to program files And scroll down until you see where is it minimal ADB and fastboot and then click on it okay so just find a blank space here and you're gonna press shift on your keyboard along with the right click on your mouse so you need to press them both at the same time I'm gonna do that real quick okay so I've done that so you press shift and right click on your mouse and it'll bring up this box and it should say open command window here so just click on that and it's going to open up a command window here you can close this back down just leave this window open okay so Go back to the website again, to Motorola's website, and scroll down to where it says Fastboot OEM Get Unlock Data. 
and we're just going to highlight that and then copy it. Okay, so what we need to do now is on the phone, we need to put it into fast boot mode. To put it into fast boot mode, you just simply press the volume. Hold on, you turn off the device first. So turn it off first. And you're going to press the volume down button along with the power button. God, this camera sucks. I'm trying to get it to focus. So just press the volume down and the power button. Both at the same time. Until it takes you into fast boot mode. So as you can see here, it says fast boot and flash mode. Should look just like this. And now just connect your phone to the USB cable. Okay, so once your phone's connected to the USB cable, we're just gonna paste fast boot OEM get unlock data into there and then hit enter on your keyboard and it's gonna bring up some numbers and letters and stuff. So just right click on those numbers and letters and where it's and select mark and then just highlight all of that. Then hit enter and now open up your notepad. If you don't have a notepad, if you're running Windows 10 and you don't have a notepad, just go to the store and download it, it is free. And we're just going to paste everything into there. <coughs> and now what we need to do is, where it says bootloader, in these brackets, we need to delete each one of these. So just delete each one. And now we're just going to copy all of this. <clears throat> and go back over to the Motorola website. <clears throat> now just scroll down to where it says check if your device can be locked by unlocked by pasting this string in the field below and clicking can my device be unlocked so just paste that code into there okay so now <clears throat> we need to get rid of these spaces as you can see we've got a few spaces there so we just need to get rid of these spaces so so what you need to do is just look for everywhere you can see a space anywhere you can see a space sorry and just delete each space Okay, we've got one more space here.
Okay, so I think that's it. I think we're good to go. Now just scroll down to where it says I agree and select I agree. And then go ahead and hit can my device be unlocked. So yeah, just go ahead and hit can my device be unlocked. If you get a error message up here saying it can't be unlocked, just double check and make sure you've not left any spaces. I mean, yeah, double check and make sure that you've not left a space anywhere. You've got to make sure there's no spaces in between these letters and numbers. So just go ahead and select I agree and then request unlock key and if if it says you unless you have a developer edition device this will void your warranty are you sure go ahead and hit OK Okay, so now it's going to send an email to your email address. So, you know, when you signed into the Motorola website, if you use your Google um, account, it's going to send the unlock code to that email address. So just head on over to that email account and look for the code. So let's see if I can find it. Okay, so here it is. Unlocking your device. And this is the code. So we're just going to copy this code. And then click on the link here. Please follow the instructions here. Okay, so we're going to go back to the command window. And we're going to type in fast boot devices. Fast boot devices. And then hit enter. And now we're going to type fastboot OEM unlock unique underscore key. So let's type fastboot. space OEM space again unlock and then space again and then we're just going to put the unlock code into there and then hit enter and now it's going to unlock the bootloader And it should say, phone is unlocked successfully in the command window there. So now we can go ahead and unplug the USB cable. And as you can see, warning bootloader unlocked. So yeah, this was just my quick tutorial guide showing you how to unlock the bootloader on the Motorola Moto G third generation 2015 model and also any other Motorola device. If you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up also 
feel free to share it with friends and um, thanks very much for watching. I'm out. It's your boy, the Android Doctor. Also, subscribe to Doses.